Coming up next, it is time to decide who will be the alternate. If Mighty Mo can continue, if Mark Godbier can continue, the winner of this fight, James McSweeney and LeVar Johnson, will step in. And LeVar Johnson right now is standing by with the schmo. All right, guys, I got LeVar Johnson. You're taking this fight on 11 day notice. How ready are you for your moment? Let's get it over with, let's go. One time for the man, baby. Jazz, he's coming. Let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pit, LeVar Johnson. Well, 10 days, 11 days, excuse me, for LeVar Johnson to prepare for something as dangerous and unpredictable as this. Is that enough time, Pat? Well, he said he was training already, and he certainly looks like it. He, he is in shape. Yeah, he is a mammoth of a human being. Super big. One punch, one punch knockout power. He's always had it, and he's certainly looking for that tonight. Well, he had the uh, ringing endorsement of Brendan Schaub yesterday on his podcast, who called LeVar Johnson one of the heaviest hitters in the history of the UFC. He is, without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, the only way you were going to beat him was trying to get him tired, trying to push the pace on him, and hopefully get takedowns on him and catching him in submissions a lot but of It is true. Almost all of his losses came by way of submission. They all came on the mat. When you're standing up with LeVar Johnson, you know, you were in trouble. You are, you are. If you if you do not move your head, if you do not have good defense and he lands, you're going to get hurt. That's just the way it is. So uh, I'm interested to see. He's had this long layoff, several year layoff here. So will the ring rust be there or will he kick right back into fifth gear? Last fight was in September of 2014. Spent four years in prison, was out, was training. And I was ready to step inside the pit against James McSweeney, who himself is a devastating puncher. 31 knockouts as a kickboxer for McSweeney. And McSweeney is standing by with the schmuck. Guys, guys, James McSweeney not standing by the schmo. Moments ago, he walked off. He's ready for this fight. For years, he was doing it in the underground and the UK. Tonight, we're going to see him enter the pit. Back to you, Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent, James McSweeney. One. One, two. Check me out right here, yo. Yo, the sun don't So James McSweeney making his way to the pit, but he is also preparing to fight in a K-1 tournament in December 7th. So if anyone in this tournament is prepared physically, is in the best shape, it could be McSweeney. Yeah, most certainly. And, you know, in talking with him yesterday, very, very just, just friendly. He's always been a super friendly guy. But today when I talk to him, a different guy, you can tell he's dialing it in. He's ready to go. His mind is changing. The, 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 the scary McSweeney is here tonight. Well, the schmo alluded to it earlier on in his life, in and around the ages of 18, he took part in a lot of underground bare knuckle fights back in the UK. So he is familiar with what it feels like to be hit with a bare fist, and, and he remembers some of the strategies he employed in the underground. Right, and he's gonna be a quick starter also. He's, he's also a very accurate puncher. He's a very technical, technical striker. But here is the difference. He has scored a lot of knockouts with his kicks, which of course are illegal tonight. James McSweeney, an all or nothing fighter. 31 knockouts as a kickboxer. He's been stopped three times in kickboxing. Nine KOs as an MMA fighter. He's been stopped 11 times in MMA. So this is a guy who lays it all on the line early, as you mentioned. Yeah, he's either gonna put you out of there, he's going out on his shield. James McSweeney and LeVar Johnson. A couple of veterans in here. LeVar Johnson, 42 years of age. We haven't seen him in four years, but look at that reach. 81 inches and weighing in right at the heavyweight limit of 265. He is a big physical challenge for James McSweeney. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by 46 and 2. Three rounds. It's a Valor Bare Knuckle heavyweight tournament alternate fight. 
your judges, Terry Red Fox, Ben Boucher, and Wayne Fox. And when the action begins, the third man in the pit is Bobby Wambacher. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue zone. Tonight, he wears black. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He is a Strike Force veteran, a Bellator veteran, and a UFC veteran. Fighting out of Madeira, California tonight, making his Valor Bare Knuckle debut. Introducing Lavo. Johnson! And now his opponent across the pit fighting out of the red zone. Tonight he is wearing black. He weighed in at 253 pounds with over 150 professional contests to his credit. 1FC veteran, UFC veteran, and K1 veteran fighting out of London, England. Tonight also making his Valor Bare Knuckle debut presenting James the Sledgehammer McSweeney. All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Catch them up if you want. So our heavyweight alternate contest Richard, here, LeVar Johnson LeVar, and ready? James McSweeney. James, are you ready? Let's three three-minute rounds. Something happens to Mo or to Godbeer, one of these men could step in. Body shot, straight right to the body by McSweeney. McSweeney leaning out of, oh! Down goes McSweeney. A hard, sweeping right hand from LeVar Johnson. That's a sledgehammer, buddy. That is a sledgehammer. The force of that shot. Dumping him on, on his rear end. McSweeney. Right at the last possible second. I think this is over. It is. It ripped a gash open in the side of his head. A one-punch knockout victory for LeVar Johnson. My goodness, he is a big man, and he hits hard. You all right, brother? We saw that one last and a little longer than that, I thought. But the power of LeVar Johnson comes through. over. Boy, we wondered what LeVar Johnson would have left. Well, that power didn't go anywhere. No, it didn't. Like I said, last thing to leave you is the power. He looked at his hand. I don't know if his hands hurt. Doesn't seem to be. James McSweeney has that cut on the side of his head. One punch, one knockdown, one cut, done. You see the frustration on the face of McSweeney, but that's, that's how unforgiving this sport is. You can make mistakes in glove boxing. You can eat a shot, shake it off, make some adjustments. Right. You often don't get that second chance in fair enough. No, and you know, you think about it, James McSweeney came a long ways to get hit once. That's all it took. Effectively, may, in fact, maybe the only shot that landed from LeVar Johnson. He might have landed a body shot early, but the, the only thing of substance that landed ended the fight. One power shot. That's all you need to know, right? And I will say the pit looks amazing. No cage in front of us, no ropes in front of us. This is a really cool feel. So unique, so unique. But let's take a look at the knockdown. Let's see the power of LeVar Johnson here. Take a few looks at it here. You can see McSweeney getting out of the way of that one, but then he lowers his level, and LeVar lowers his level with his punch. He read it perfectly. That's good reaction because you can see him adjust midstream. Watch. Both guys throwing right hands at the same time. You've got to have your shield up. If you're throwing a spear out there, you better have a shield covering you. He just swatted it. Watch this, just like a shovel hook. Almost a boom. Didn't even get into its power band and put him down. That's what's scary about it. Now, yeah, LeVar Johnson told us when I was riding with him, in fact, to the hotel, he said, I'm just going to throw everything. I'm not worried about strategy. I'm just going to throw my hands. Ironically, it was a nice little adjustment there on the fly that allowed LeVar Johnson to land that devastating shot. LeVar Johnson victorious in his bare knuckle debut. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is over at 27 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout, LeVar Big J.
Johnson! A one-punch knockout from LeVar Johnson. Took less than 30 seconds. Let's hear from him. Let's send it up to Pat. Well, LeVar, welcome back. Thank you. Glad to be back. Glad to be back here in North Dakota. You guys have been lovely, man. I had a good time. Thank you for having me. Now, obviously, this match is very important to get through healthy so that if you're in the main draw, you get to go in there. You're fresh. Your hands are good. Your face is good. You're as pretty as when you showed up, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm ready to go, baby. Hopefully, you know, I can get to the next round. Yeah, right. well, we're looking forward. We're looking forward to it if it happens. Look, Mo had a tough fight. We don't know what kind of condition he's in backstage, yeah. so you've got to be hopeful. Yeah, we'll see what happens, you know. Thank you guys again. I appreciate being here. Great performance, LeVar.